matter can be classified uh, based on different properties and it's important for us because uh, it helps us differentiate between the different items. For example, uh, sponge is very different from a stone based on the feel of it. Or even uh, water is different from uh, oil. Just by looking at it, you can see the difference. So what are the physical properties we can differentiate them by? Uh, one of them is strength. So strength uh, in a science terms is the ability to support a load uh, without breaking or tearing. So if, uh, for example, a rubber band, uh, you hold a rubber band and it uh, hangs a item. If it breaks, you know it's uh, probably not very strong rubber band. So that is strength. Or you can also look at uh, hardness. So I know everybody thinks of hardness is uh, like how hard is a certain object uh, by knocking at it or by holding it. But in science, it actually is uh, defined by the ability to withstand scratches. So for example, uh, how do we know that a diamond is uh, harder than harder than a say a piece of iron iron uh, or steel plate iron plate so if the diamond can scratch the iron plate then it's harder than the iron plate uh, if you use the iron plate to try to scratch diamond it will never work so it is clear cut that uh, the diamond is harder than the iron plate Another physical property you can use is the uh, flexibility. So by testing the flexibility, you can uh, classify a certain matter uh, into whether it's flexible or not flexible. Uh, for example, a piece of wood, the flexibility will be very low because if you try to bend it, it will break. Uh, so that is one way of uh, differentiating uh, the matters. Uh, next way is uh, electric electrical connecti uh, conductivity. conductivity so how well does a material uh, sort of uh, passes electricity for example if you have a live wire and you wear a rubber glove if you touch the wire with the rubber glove you will not get electrical shock because uh, the electrical conductivity of the glove is very low uh, whereas if you use your bare hands to touch it you will actually Get again electrical shock because uh, the skin has quite a high electrical conductivity. The next one, we, next one we can look at is the the thermal conductivity. So uh, a way to look at this is, for example, when uh, your parents are cooking and uh, they use a, a a glove to hold on to the pots. Uh, it's because the thermal conductivity of the gloves are very low. That's why they don't get burnt and they will want to use the, the gloves. Okay, the last two we are looking at is uh, a melting point. Melting point. And also the boiling point. So how you see this is uh, for melting point is actually when the point where a, uh, a solid becomes a liquid and the boiling point is uh, the temperature where a liquid becomes uh, gaseous becomes a gas so uh, let's take an example of a plastic box a plastic cube so if you heat it enough it will actually melt and uh, the point that it melts, actually, the temperature that it melts is actually the melting point, so it becomes water. It becomes a liquid, it's not water, it's a liquid. And if you heat it even more, it will then, the temperature will then reach the boiling point, and this liquid will then evaporate into gas. So every substance will actually go through uh, this process, it's only depending on the temperature. So even if you're looking at a metal piece, there will be a temperature. Uh, maybe a few hundred or even a few thousand degrees where it will actually uh, uh, melt, become a liquid and, and, uh, and uh, if you heat it even more, uh, it will eventually uh, evaporate into a gaseous state. So based on these properties, we can then uh, use materials 
to do different things like uh, build stuff. For example, uh, in a building, you know that uh, steel is very hard. So even though your buildings are built of concrete, actually within the concrete, they actually have steel bars to help uh, reinforce the strength of the building because the steel bars are very strong. So these are all based on the properties you see here to determine what is being put into the design of the equipment around you.